it's called uh, bug backing and I mean it doesn't have to look pretty because small eyes are going to crank it anyway but you do want to keep your foam um, uh, just flat you know where it's it's these are staying up and everything's staying right and you don't have to get creative with it you can overlap it a little bit because I mean it's going to float regardless because of the foam and uh, all you're really doing is just putting a nice buggy profile in there um, I always like to keep it a little buggy and a little just looking good you know because that's another thing I mean I'm not like a uh, you know oh man I want to look so realistic that you know a person you know I do like doing that but when it comes to fishy flies um, the uglier the better I think and I mean there's a lot of people that probably think that no the uglier the worse no the uglier the better um, I've caught a lot of fish on downright ugly flies and uh, you want to go ahead and get that all the way up to the, to the eye of the hook um, sorry about that I'll snip this off you want to keep the foam tabs that you had kept previous um, because I'll show you what they're gonna you're gonna do here in a second. And uh, go ahead and you want you want to go ahead and uh, tie off again and just go straight back to where you were at, right behind the head. And uh, you're gonna take your uh, just a little bit of uh, saddle hackle, I mean, nothing big. Um, I haven't perfected it that much, but I wanted to tie it for you guys today. It's called the drop wing grasshopper I don't know what the fish see in it I don't you know and you want the sh the shiny side there's a there's a dull side and there's a shiny side to a wing to a piece of a hackle and you just want to go ahead and just tie it in um, cross over cross over and then take it and make sure you got it flat where it's where it's like it's like that Here, I'll spin it around to you guys show you a little bit closer where it's like that okay now just follow with me guys I mean it's pretty hard it's not too hard but um and this will really work so you're gonna go ahead and move it up just a little bit um trim off that grab another one um about the same size and then just measure it and what I do is I pull down about that much go ahead and clip it off because you want a pretty good piece of that um, and then just strip some off um, then go ahead and you want to go all the way to where it, it's you know it's right there and then tie it in give it a couple crisscross loops and uh, that'll bring your wings up a little bit. You just go ahead and make them really nice. And then um, take a couple drops of uh, super glue or whatever you want to do. Um, and then uh, fold this back to where. Uh, actually, you want to know what? Um, you want it to be about as long as your body. On the bottom and on the top so I'm going to trim off just a little bit that way you're not sort of messing around, you know it's not in the way of the hook you want to go straight back like that you want to see the eye of the hook you can see the eye of the hook go down like that and just you know it's going to protect your wings um, I'm not getting completely ripped off and hammered by smallies but you want to go straight back towards the eye of the hook and what that's going to do it's going to create a big head and uh, cinch that down pretty good um, sort of kind of weed, weed your way through there and then what I usually do is just pull my thread back to the side flip it down like that and just cut the bottom I want to leave the top, top for a little bit of like a a strike indicator almost 
or um, just for a visual effect because sometimes if you're in some heavy current and you can't see your fly it's nice to have something uh, to, see, to recognize your fly by and just pull all that back and go straight to the eye pull back I do a couple half hitches like that just like that pull it tight clip it and the drop effect is where it's gonna ride it's gonna ride in the current like that where it's like that and it's gonna look like a little boat in the water and what you'll see is is you'll you'll start seeing some, um go ahead and trim that tag a little bit not too much because you do want to leave some in there and uh, what's going to do is going to ride high in the current because your wings and your hook shank is going to be down here and I'm using a Daiichi um, size well it would be curved hook 1270 size 6 um, really good hooks I haven't had any problems with them but uh, this is what the bottom looks like uh, it's got a lot, a lot of buggy effect to it. Um, you can straighten that out if you want to. Um, it's got the back. And it, what it's going to do, it's going to ride like that. And I will definitely show you guys some videos of Smalley's Hammer in this, issue, this year. Um, I still got a couple more, uh, about another month.